The death toll from the floods caused by this year's El Nino rains now stands at 136, with Kenya's National El Nino Steering Committee placing the number of displaced households at nearly 90,000. But a Dutch innovation being tested in Laikipia County could offer a solution to the problem of flash floods and potentially save lives. The slam dam technology developed in the Netherlands uses synthetic tubes filled with water to create a barrier against flowing water. Its purpose is to block flood water and push it back to its course. It's made out of uh, EPDM, which is a synthetic rubber. And all you have to do is fill those barriers with water. And then very rapidly you can build, build up a bit barrier. And the good thing about slam dam is you, what you do is you deploy them. And as soon as you want to remove them, all you have to do is deflate them and then you can store them again in, in boxes. So this way you have a easily deployable flam dam that can be de deployed in a flexible manner. Different locations, different points in time, depending on the flood risks. According to Slam Dam Executive Director Omar Saleh, the innovation can be deployed in areas prone to flooding to prevent the destruction of crops. Slam dams can also harness flood water for irrigation during the dry season, improving food security. These units are quite uh, big. They have a capacity of 7,500 liter, uh, so it takes a while to fill them. Uh, but once it's here, uh, basically you can use it as a semi-permanent or even a permanent solution. Uh, the reason is the material is, is unique. Uh, it's UV resistant, it's ozone resistant, so meaning water doesn't evaporate what's inside. So you can use it for a very lengthy time, for many months. Or... Like Kepia Governor Joshua Irungu says the project will be a boon to pastoralists, as the portable tubes can be used for water tracking as they move with their livestock. This is something that you can be packaged and it is dropped to where the communities are and you are able to track water and put the water here which can be used by the community and their livestock. So I see it beyond the flood pro protection or prevention of the, of the floods. I see it in, a better, in other better uses even in this, in this country. And therefore I want to embrace this technology and I would also encourage other governors and even the national government and uh, uh, the other departments to embrace on this one particularly in terms of uh, uh, water storage, even in the dry areas, even in some of our slums, we can be able to use this technology to store water for our communities. Slam Dam is currently being piloted in Rumuruti, like Kipia West, along River Iwasonyiro, which frequently breaks its banks. The project is expected to help the country adapt to the fallout from climate change, which includes floods, rising seas, scorching temperatures, and severe storms. <laughs> na tunaanzia na hii ambaye ina maji na janga hapa ikulu na sasa tukiweka hii inatusaidia sana maana kuna wakati maji ilikuwa na ruka lami inaenda uh, ile side ya miti lakini kwa saa hii mimi najua kwamba itatusaidia hiyo maji itakuwa haitaruka sana Muriel Adhiambo K24 TV